What happens if you stop uploading to stock photography platforms? In this video, I'm going to share it all. The actual yearly earnings I made from stock photography platforms while actively uploading new content and while basically not uploading at all. What's up everybody? This is Nicole and welcome back to my channel. You've probably noticed that I disappeared for a little while, like for two to three years. And that's because in that time I had two kids and not too much time for sleep, let alone photography. So 2020 was the last year that I was childless and actively uploading new photos and videos to stock photography platforms such as Shutterstock, Pond5, and Adobe Stock. It was a good year for me. My portfolio size on Shutterstock and Pond5 was around 6,000 photos and 2,000 videos. With the world being shut down that year, I put more time and effort into stock photography and videography. I created photos and videos related to the pandemic, political events in DC, food shortages, the upcoming inauguration, and the presidential election. I was following the news, as we all probably were, and creating content around those topics. So I actually just went back and checked my old tax returns, and in 2020, I made a grand total of $15,000 from Shutterstock and Pond5. Now, this is not a full-time income by any means, but I've never been a full-time stock photographer. It has always been a side hustle for me. So for a side hustle, I'd say this is pretty decent. And in many states and some countries can pay for someone's rent or some of their bills for the year. Now this last year, 2023, was my worst year in years, earnings wise. And that's because I hardly uploaded anything new to stock platform. If you didn't know, I was pregnant for nine months of the year and had a newborn for the remaining amount of time, plus a toddler. So survival was the name of my game, not stock photography. At the end of the year, I had uploaded probably like 50 new videos and a handful of photos, which is almost nothing. So let's just say it was nothing. So what did I make this year? Okay, I need a drum roll. I made a grand total of $8,000. That's just about half of what I made in 2020. But you know what? I'm actually really, really happy with that because that was basically pure passive income because I was not doing any additional work to bring in those earnings. This was all based on photos and videos that I had already uploaded in the past, work that I had already done. Stock photography and videography is not considered passive income, and that's because it requires a lot of upfront work. However, it can become passive in the future if you've already done a lot of the upfront work. But that income will probably decrease over time if you don't continue adding new items to your portfolios. Now, what you can take away from this is the following. You can put as little or as much into stock photography and videography as you'd like. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you upload trending and newsworthy content, the more you'll probably make. And if you've done a lot of the legwork already and you have a very sizable portfolio of good quality, searchable and newsworthy content, then you could have a decent passive income trickling in for a few years afterwards. But that income will most likely get smaller and smaller every year if you don't add new relevant newsworthy and trending content. So now that I have my two wonderful kids, a boy and a girl, I can focus on getting back on track with my own goals because it was very hard to uh, focus on my goals when I was pregnant because I get very sick. And my goals include uploading new content to stock platforms, mostly video. And if you're wondering why mostly video, then check out this video right here. And the beauty about being a stock contributor is that you can always take a step away for a little while and then return to it when you have the time again. Your portfolios are always there waiting for you to reinvigorate them with new content. So tell me, if you're a stock contributor, how's it going? If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you're not, welcome back. I'm glad you stuck around and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Take care.